Okay. Now this one here, we made one little change. We've decided to put a two-speed fan motor right here. Okay, I got a low speed here, and that's connected up through a set of normally closed contacts. That would be fan switch R1. Uh, in series with the heat operated fan switch. And down here we have a set of normally open fan switch contacts. Again, fan switch R1 that will energize the high speed. Now one of the problems with electric motors, if they're multiple speed, you can't have two speeds on at the same time. So this is an either or switch. When this one is closed, this one is open. When this one here is closed, this one is open. So let's go ahead and sequence this thing. Let's, let's do a sequence on a call for heat. Okay, what we've done is we've closed this thermostat. That's all we've done so far. Okay, the limit's already closed. Power passes through the limit, through the closed thermostat to energize the gas valve. That's going to start the gas furnace operating. Okay, the next thing that's going to happen is the heat operated fan switch is going to close. Okay, uh, this fan switch is closed as the heat exchanger warm. Power is going to pass through the normally closed R1 fan switch contacts to energize the fan motor. So at this point, gas valve is energized, warmed up the furnace, fan switch is closed, uh, power passes through the normally closed set of uh, fan switch contacts and energizes the motor in low speed. Okay. Now, what we've done here, we still have our gas valve on and so on. We manually closed the, the manual fan switch down here, which energizes fan relay R1. Okay, that is going to switch fan switch R1 and fan switch R1 uh, in the high voltage. It's going to reverse their positions. Okay. That means power no longer goes through, even though this fan switch is closed, power does not travel through because this set of contacts is open. So low speed is de-energized. However, high speed, we've closed the contacts and high speed is operating. Okay. Uh, that's how we keep motors from operating uh, in high and low speed at the same time. If we had not put this either or switch in here and this fan switch was closed and this switch wasn't here and just this switch was here then if I close the fan switch while and energize the fan relay while this fan switch was closed then I would get power through here to high speed and I'd also have power going through low speed and I'd burn up the fan motor. So that's just to protect the fan motor. 